¿Cómo están? Espero que estén súper bien. Yo soy Estivaliz y bienvenidos otra vez a mi canal. Si eres nuevo no olvides suscribirte dando clic al botón rojo que está aquí abajito y a la campanita para que no te pierdas ningún video nuevo. Antes de empezar les recuerdo que tengo Instagram, Twitter, Facebook y TikTok para que vayan a seguirme. También tengo un grupo en mi página de Facebook en el que pueden contar sus experiencias paranormales para que yo las cuente en mis videos. Y tengo otro canal de cosas no paranormales por si a alguien le interesa, los links están en la descripción. Para el video de hoy les traigo la tercera parte del caso de TikTok Time to Wait. Si no han visto las partes 1 y 2 les dejo el link aquí en la tarjetita y en la descripción para que vayan a verlas antes de ver este video. Ok, en el video anterior nos quedamos en lo del ojo trazado en el piso como con fuego y todo eso, no sé cómo explicarlo, pero bueno, ustedes me entienden, ya lo vieron. Y bueno, ella sale corriendo buscando a ver si alguien está cerca y no encuentra a nadie. Así que vamos a ver qué pasa. El siguiente video es del 7 de junio. Been marked. I was told to tidy up her area, so I thought I'd put those pots and pans on the dolls for my sake. So here we go. Anything home arise here, I wish you nothing but calm. I invoke protection and want you to understand that I am with you. Make yourself known to me. Ok, a ver si no se le incendia esa madre o algo. Vamos a ver el siguiente. El siguiente es del 9 de junio. Ah, y pone el filtro de TikTok que ya hemos platicado y que luego me preguntan cómo se llama. Se llama realidad ondulada en TikTok. So I'm using the reality ripple effect. Um, because you guys keep telling me to. I'm just kinda trying to see if something's gonna come up at me. Hey, what are you doing? I bet that everybody you use this and it always does something, huh? I bet it's pretty generic, like jumping at you kind of thing or whatever. So just to check on the validity, holy shit. <laughs> oh god. Oh, okay, that's true. That's fine. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh, boy. One more time, one more time. Try it again, try it again. How is it? Nope, 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 nope. Okay, okay, okay. Ok, me hubiera gustado más que levantara un poco la cámara para que... Porque hay veces que se ven como siluetas, entonces ahí hubiera estado más interesante. A lo mejor que se hubiera alejado un poco del cobertizo y desde la puerta hubiera grabado así. No sé, yo digo. Pero bueno, vamos con el siguiente. El siguiente también es del 9 de junio y también usa el filtro de realidad ondulada. Jesus Christ. Okay, this has got to get out of my house. This has got to get out of my house. Holy shit. You guys, no. This is way too much. Oh my God. It was like spamming all over my bed. So I'm getting it out from under there. Oh no. Hmm. So, I'm gonna put it back in the shed. trust any of that. I kept the suitcase under the bed because I lost it before, but I'm starting to think I don't really care if I lose it again. <sighs> Then here's the bag of hair that I found. Ok, vamos con el siguiente. El siguiente también es del 9 de junio y también usa el filtro de realidad ondulada. I said in the comments that I wasn't going to call the police again, but after the fire, I did call the police, right? They're actually taking me seriously. They took evidence from the fire uh, to find out what it consisted of, and they took my memory card from my front camera to have multiple people analyzing it instead of just me. 
luckily I have another memory card so I can continue recording whatever may happen now um, my landlord said that I can break my lease anytime without charge so that's awesome but I can't really afford to move out anyway this is the third time of me trying to post this little story time but I am literally stuck on my charger this is a new phone and it's dying every couple minutes the headaches are real, but now that the cops are investigating too, I'm feeling more comfortable. Ok, lo dije en el video anterior y lo repito ahorita. Me hubiera gustado ver que sí fue la policía, pero bueno, vamos con el siguiente. El siguiente es del 10 de junio y también usa el filtro de realidad ondulada. Ya le gustó el filtro. So, I'm trying to find out everything that I can about Mildred Windsor, right? So, um, it... I found this. It said she was born about 1917 in Ohio, died at 23. So about 1917. So this one says 1922, which makes more sense for me if she died at 23. That means the letters would have been sent to her before 1945 when she would have maybe died. And she would have died at Defiance Hospital. I can't find any way to look up records for Defiance Hospital. But I looked up stuff about the occult eye, the evil eye, and this here is just particularly troubling because that's like literally my household, so it's particularly susceptible. And I haven't been able to really find anything about the fire. But okay, el siguiente también es el 10 de junio. There was another fire at my house. It was in the front yard this time. Um, that is me flushing outside after I smell smoke. I'm, it's really embarrassing. I'm wearing just my robe and I literally have curlers and like an old woman. Um, I don't really know what to say about it. I move the camera over to try to show you, but I don't realize that you can't see it. It's just that little black spot behind the umbrella. There was nothing that I could visibly see that started the fire. I looked before everything in it, so there's just nothing to do. Okay, pues básicamente no vimos nada ahí, pero bueno, el siguiente, el siguiente también es del 10 de junio. So this is how big the fire got before I found it. Um, I couldn't find anything that maybe would have started it. These are all just pieces from the tree above. And so yeah. So I called the cops again. I'm just gonna add the second fire to the police report. Try to figure out what's going on. Why won't this focus? So I went outside to check the shed. And I see these, like, I don't know, kind of looks like a hand to me. And also this, but I think I saw this on here before. And then I can kind of see, like, some words. I think it says, um, open side. Like, this is the open side. I don't know how long it's going. I'm going to check the other videos. Okay, el siguiente es del 11 de junio. I've been hearing noises outside, so I came out to check, and this shed has this chair in front of it. This shovel is placed on top, and the chair itself has cobwebs all over it. Suitcase is open. Uh, that can be from the shoddy lock. I feel like this was not here before. What's all this stuff? This bag has to have just been placed here because I never saw it El siguiente también es del 11 de junio. Someone in the comments was saying their mom works for Iron Mountain and that they 
it's like a records place. I didn't know what you guys were talking about, but yeah, now I see it. Okay, because this was not sitting up on the picture frame before, for sure. But it really doesn't look like they put their records in here. Oh my god, I'm getting so paranoid. That looks like records though. Gotta move some shit. I don't really feel comfortable showing all of what's in the bag because there's like people's names and court documents actually. Ok, otra vez no entiendo por qué se mete ahí de noche. Pero bueno, el siguiente es del 12 de junio y usó un filtro que se llama Onda Arco Iris. No sé qué hace ese filtro, pero vamos a ver. Under the same name, if you guys have any interest in following that. <laughs> I just figure I can try. <sighs> I was trying to see if it gets enough subscribers I can just post a bunch of um more content on there instead of what I have here less cuts stuff I couldn't show because it just took too long to kind of explain and I can also give like a deeper backstory I think I'm trying to get to that chest but I think I found something else Ok, ya me habían dicho en los comentarios del video anterior que ella se hizo un canal aquí en YouTube, entonces lo voy a checar para el próximo video. El siguiente también es del 12 de junio. I normally get a general vibe when I come out here. And so far I haven't really felt anything very negative. Even though I've been messing with a lot of stuff so far, but... I need to clean this out in order to cleanse everything, in order to salt it all properly. But I'm finding a lot of stuff in here that has to do with like medicine, medical records. Gee, right there, finding more fucking a shit ton of unlabeled fluids. Um, and it smells like chemicals, it's hot in here. And I mean, I've already messed with a lot of stuff, but I'm suddenly feeling like I shouldn't be here anymore. My bug friend is gone. I found a lot more paperwork, but I feel like I should just go inside right now. Ok, sí entiendo que tenga que limpiar todo esto y ordenarlo para ver qué encuentra, pero que lo haga de día. O sea, ¿por qué se empeña en hacerlo de noche? El siguiente también es del 12 de junio. Recipe box. Here it's like essential oils and some other stuff I really want to look in what that box is. And then this one here. Oh my god. IGs. Holy shit. Ew! Ew! What the fuck? It was wet! ¿Qué acaba de pasar? Ok, creo que no era necesario que grabara lo del vómito No se hubiera platicado, pero bueno Y pues se supone que encontró como sangre Fresca porque se manchó Entonces vamos a ver qué pasa El siguiente también es del 12 de junio I don't even know where to start with this one to be honest My headaches are getting worse More painful Worse when I leave the house I really don't care how stupid this sounds at this point But I think I'm losing my memory I had no recollection of that baby crying I only remembered seeing someone and running And now I don't even remember the blood at all. 
I mentioned this in my YouTube channel, but I sound like a fucking idiot in it, to be honest. The last thing I remember is getting really negative vibes and then saying that I was done and going inside and going straight to bed. I look at my TikTok today and there's literal blood or maybe paint on my fucking hand and there's like a shroud over my goddamn memory. I ignored that feeling and I continued looking and I'm not going to do that again. Wait, what's this? No, no, no! Ok, yo creo que si es pintura o sangre, o sea, si sí te puedes dar cuenta manchándote. Lo puedes oler, puedes ver como que la consistencia. O sea, sí podrías diferenciarlo si te manchaste los dedos. No sé por qué dice que no sabe qué es. Yo creo que sí podría saberlo. Y luego lo de la nota, no sé. No sé si la anotó muy rápido. Pero bueno, vamos a ver, supongo, qué dice esa nota. This is what was left for me. Ok, I know Spanish. Some of this looks like Spanish. Aquí. Uh, 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 muertos viven um, monumento that's Spanish, right? Like, kind of Spanish. So that's Latin. This has got to be Latin. Latin, 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 right? So, um, I tried, um, but it doesn't know, and I know this has Latin, but I mean, I guess it could be anything other than, do they not have Latin? Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Ugh. What? That can't be right. What the fuck does that mean? I'm sorry, I just... I don't know what to say. Ok, sentí un poco fake la actuación en este video, como que... What? No sé. Pero bueno, vamos a ver el siguiente. El siguiente también es del 12 de junio. I got a hold of the ex -tenants. So, I knew the ex tenants names from mail that has been sent to my house under their name. And so I looked them up on Facebook, um, sent the messages. They just called me back while I was in the shower. I answered while I was in the shower. And so get this. They are under the impression that their friend still lives here, their roommate. Their roommate still lives here. So this person was basically under the impression that I was someone named Eli's roommate. And they were like, basically like, what do you do now? So what's disturbing and notable about this situation is not only are these people gonna meet up with me later this week to talk about everything, just that they were so adamant they were so sincere that Eli would not move from this place. Ok, y bueno, lo vamos a dejar hasta aquí por este video. Sé que me faltan muchos para ponerme al corriente con este caso. Como otros dos videos, me voy a tratar de apurar. Y pues como siempre, díganme en los comentarios qué opinan de este caso. Voy a checar su canal de YouTube para el próximo video. Espero que les haya gustado mucho este video. Si les gustó, no olviden darle like, suscribirse dando clic al botón rojo que está aquí abajito y a la campanita para que no se pierdan ningún video nuevo. Gracias por ver el video, les mando un beso enorme y nos vemos en el próximo. Bye. Mm.